If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best turkey day all-star players to choose guys now, if you guys already know these cards are the cards that do actually play on thanksgiving day they will be playing throughout the day we know when you're watching with the family you're eating turkey you know doing whatever you guys do on that day it's a regular day for you guys as well just some good football as well but these are the guys that actually do play on their teams that day right which also means that these cards get objective based so that means that if they complete their objectives on the cards you can see on malcolm jenkins at the bottom left corner there each objective is a plus overall if they if they complete none of those objectives in game they get nothing if they complete one they get plus one if they complete both they get plus two plus their power ups so you're pretty much you're looking at a plus three max plus two uh moderate plus one at the lowest being as they can be powered up right but they cannot be powered up until their full i believe they can be powered up until their conditions are done right because pretty much these cards are like collectibles they can be played with but they're pretty much collectibles they're gonna be not i think once they actually do convert to their upgrades then they can be auctionable as well as powered up if i'm not mistaken but let's get into the rankings of these guys before we do if you're into the channel with that subscribe button turn the noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as well if you guys need coins head down below if you guys want to pick up some of these players you know by doing their collections and buying some of the players needed as well as if you want to check out underdog fantasy guys which is a super cool daily fantasy app use my link down below as well as my code and you can get matched up to a free 100 bucks based on your first deposit but yeah enough of that malcolm jenkins he comes in as my last overall player here for a few reasons his objectives actually aren't the hardest things if the saints allow less than 425 yards total they get it and that's actually on thanksgiving day sometimes slower games prime time technically right that's actually very doable, so a 92 seems pretty likely for him. Now, I'm doing these rankings on two bases, right? How likely are they to get it? How likely is it to help them? Because some guys could be super likely to complete their objectives, and it could mean nothing. Now, remember, this could be an investment, so look at it from a different point of view. If you know for sure Malcolm Jenkins is going to get it, it could be a decent investment to get him as cheap as you can to build him, and then just know he'll get it and sell him at a 93 because the training value goes up, right? But... I'm going based off how likely to get it and how well can it help their card. Malcolm Jenkins just isn't going to be helped by this. Now, Saints allow 425 yards or less. Pretty likely, pretty decent. Get an interception. A little bit harder, more luck-based, but it's possible. And here's the thing. Let's just say Malcolm Jenkins does get this hard, right? How does this help? His speed goes up to a 91, 90, like a 92, actually, with the power up, right? Because it would be a 94 overall. 90, that's good speed. His zone will be an 88 and his hip power will be an 87. So he will be not 90 zone or hip power and his man will still be below an 80. The card's just going to be trash. Like right now he's in the 80 threshold for zone, 80 threshold for hip power and 70 threshold for man. If he gets to plus three, he's still in the 70 threshold for man, still in the 80 threshold for zone and still in the 80 threshold for hip power. This really doesn't help much besides becoming faster. So in that case, he's going to be last for me. Next, TJ Hawkinson. Off the rip, TJ Hawkinson, let's look at his objectives. They did change him, by the way, guys. A lot of people did complain about some of these objectives so hawkinson was changed so i have it pulled up on the side because the thing is you can't check their card on here because of course they're not auctionable but you also can't put the card that you, if you guys know what i'm saying so i'll show you the stats here and i'll read you the thing so hawkinson now has been changed to catch five passes catch one touchdown now catch five passes for hawkinson is very well in the range of outcomes there's been games where he's been peppered with targets very consistently tj hawkins is really their only option unless he gets completely double team and destroyed a chance so last week he had 10 targets 10, he had 11 targets 10 receptions for the buy six receptions eight receptions two rece okay so we had that one bad stretch for the last three games you would have easily hit the over on that so five passes very doable good chance hawkinson goes up at least one overall catch with two touchdowns guys a lot less doable the lines just don't score that much and when they do it's been more with their running back so i don't really think he hits that second one so let's assume he gets to 92 we'll talk about the 93 though the reason he's back so far is because it really doesn't help him as well as with malcolm jenkins what will a plus three for him do he'll get 90 speed that's really good you get 90 catch in traffic that's really good 90 catch really good 90 spec catch really good what matters actually for tight ends at this point in the game route running his short will get to an 88 his medium will get to an 85 his run block will be 83 so all again all the stats that you want to see really take that jump will all again be in the 80 threshold and not go anywhere so the card does not really get any better besides potentially price wise potentially getting excited that the over hit on all these things as well as potentially just getting a slightly faster guy but i don't think he's gonna be great nonetheless so next we have Dak Prescott Dak's actually really good Dak actually will hit some really good thresholds if he does hit this the problem with Dak is his objectives as well as the fact that he's an improviser so Dak's objectives to compare right Dak had a touchdown in 400 yards that did not change they kept Dak the same 
So what's the noticeable things here that you want to see? You want to see the throw under pressure get to 90. You want to see the medium get to 90 and the plaque get to 90 and the speed increase, right? Dak, if he hits, he gets the plus three. Let's talk about his objective. Score a touchdown. You can pretty much lock that one in. I think Dak scores a touchdown. I think he does get the plus one there and plus his power. So that's already a plus two. 400 yards passing, guys. That is super tough. That's super tough. To reference the, you know, the, the stat and game log for him here, Dak Prescott has he even completed. He had, let's see, last week he had 232 passing yards. Bad game, of course. He had 445 against New England, 302 the week before, 188 the week before. He had 238 the week before. He had 237 the week before that, and 403. So he's only completed it twice. And one of them was against Tampa Bay, where it was a complete offensive shootout where they just didn't pass. They literally didn't run all game. And the other one was against New England, where they went to overtime and had a long, long, long game. Realistically, he's probably not hitting this. Now, the thing, though, is that he does play Atlanta, which is a super weak matchup. But again, remember, this is the Dallas Cowboys we're talking about off a tough loss where they tried to pass. If they do go ahead and take a lead, they're probably running the game out, keeping Dak healthy, making sure they win on Thanksgiving Day. I think the 400 passing yards is almost guaranteed not to hit. But let's talk about the three. If the three does hit, he'll get an 86 speed, which is great for Dak. He gets escape artists, of course. He'll have 90 medium, 90 throw under pressure, 90 play action card's really really good at that point the problem is he doesn't get hot run master he still doesn't get gunslinger so at the end of the day from in terms of mutt people aren't going to like him regardless because he's an improviser and i'll say he only hits the two he misses the medium at 90 he misses throwing a pressure at 90 he only hits play action like it's 95 speed if he doesn't get the three guys if he doesn't get the three this card's screwed right it has to get the three that third one's almost impossible and even if it does even if it does get the three and gets him to all those thresholds he's still not going to be using the mutt so that's why he's falling as low as he has hunter renfro this is where it gets a little interesting. I don't like Hunter Renfro, like in terms of like I've never been like, oh, I need a Hunter Renfro card. But his objectives are 50 yards and two touchdowns. That was changed because two touchdowns is very hard for him. He now is full. catch four passes and get 75 receiving yards. Guys, this is much more likely. Now, if you guys know anything about Hunter Renfro, he does not score a lot. He's more of a like 10 target kind of guy. Like just he's like a sure-fired kind of hands kind of guy, right? Now, the thing with this guy is he gets nine targets for 49 yards, seven receptions, right? Before that, seven receptions, 58 yards, 36 yards, 56 yards, 45 yards, 77 yards, 57 yards, and 70 yards. Guys, he's only cleared 75 one time all season. I think it's possible on Thanksgiving Day, though. He is going up against Kansas City, one of the weakest pass defenses in the league. I think it's possible. I think he actually hits both here. Uh, for sure, he gets the four passes. He gets the four receptions for sure, in my opinion. And the 75 yards is very doable against a weak defense. So let's just say he gets them, right? And this is why it's interesting because he actually is only short of the medium route running by two. So with a power up and a plus one, he will get it regardless. So the most important thing is, guys, is that he will get, he could get up to 93 speed with 90 medium route running and 93 short. Because you're not sending him deep, right? That's, he's going to be a slot receiver. And he gets slot automatic or like slot apprentice for super cheap AP wise. This car could be pretty good. Uh, he'll be a good, you know, he's not a name brand guy, but he's a Raiders theme team guy which means he can get super fast. Like, this car can get pretty good. I like him. Then we got Tremaine Edmonds, guys. Tremaine Edmonds, I'm going to speed this up a little bit here. Bills force a turnover and six solo tackles. Now, has this changed from here? Nope, same thing. Force turnover for the whole Bills team, very likely. Six solo tackles, very likely. I think he gets to 93. Oh, 94, right? Because it's plus three. Now, remember, if they get the plus three, because it's the two of pluses, which is 93 plus power, that's 94 overall, he can get up to a 92 speed. With above 90 tackle, with above 90 block shot, with above 90 hit power, into the 70s for zone, he'll be a great user linebacker. I know people don't like linebackers, but he's a both a combination of very likely to hit his objectives as well as very like as well uh, as well as getting a bunch of thresholds completed if he does hit it. This is about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That was all of them. So to rank them, guys, Tremaine Edmonds and Hunter Renfro, my top two. These guys are my bottom three here. There's five total. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you want to check out Underdog? Use my link and code down below. If you want to get coins, check out my other link down there as well. You'll know the difference. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.